Oh, perfect square expansion. So today, uh, we are going to do some perfect square. We say the square is perfect. It's like the binomial, two terms, uh, a and b, all square together. We should get a square plus 2ab plus b square. Similar to a minus b square equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. All right, this is the expansion. This is the shortcut and the identity. All right, so it's pretty straightforward when expanding it because we only require two terms within a bracket or square that we give it to a common error. Don't learn. Which usually students do 2a plus b all square become a square plus b square. All right, this is wrong. Because you miss out one of the term in there, which is not right. So with those, don't worry, uh, don't remember it. Remember this one. Okay, we are very happy to remember this one. And the trick of expanding it is you follow the instruction, double the A and B in the middle before you square the other two sides. So how does it work? Why does it work? So when we have the say, take A plus b all square as an example. So we expand it, we have a plus b and a plus b because the square is two things multiply it twice. So we have x square will be equal to x times x. So the whole chunk times itself by. Then we get our double rainbow. So it's the a square plus a b plus b a plus b square. Since a, b, and b, a is the same, so let me rewrite this. Then we could have a square plus, say, like terms 2ab plus b square, which is the same as our identity. Similar with the negative, we, just in case we do that as well, so we will have a minus b all square. So this time we have a square, add the straw, we do it slowly. A minus B, A minus B, right? And then the next step is we do our rainbow, A square minus AB minus BA plus B square. Look at that. When you multiply, negative B times negative B is positive B square. So that's why no matter what, our identities is always positive at the square. And then 2AB, AB minus 2AB plus b square. The only difference we have is the minus there. You get on to it. Okay, so let's have some example. We don't not always get a, b, right? Let's have some example with those. So it's pretty straightforward, baby level. And um, 5 minus y all square. With our identity, let me look up our identities. Do a bit of folding there. Oh, when we look at the identities, we know that uh, it's the minus, right? So it's 2a a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So we have a and b. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Then all you need to do is simplify it. So it's 25 minus 10y plus y squared. Okay. And now we're going to do something even worse. Uh, not even worse. Even exciting is when the number is not just why we have something stronger. So we could have super three x all square. Okay, and then we do the same thing. The first one squared. The last one Square the middle minus is a minus is two times four times three x. The brackets is so important because students usually just give it to the x but not give it to the three. It's supposed to be together. The whole thing is square. So we have sixteen minus. Let's see, but that's what I say twenty four x plus nine x square. So make sure you share the when it's multiply you share the square to every one of them. And now here is a more annoying one. It's like they might have a number in front of us. Let's challenge ourselves with those. So we could have 
five. Two a square plus three square. All right. If you want to challenge yourself, you're gonna pause the video and let yourself to try that out. If you are ready, let's do it. Five have one power. The whole thing has two power. So we could leave the five on one side and then we do the expanding first. So we have two a square squared. 3 squared plus 2 times 2a times 3. Make sure you have all of them. Give it a close bracket to exclude, to make sure you don't forget the 5. Then we have 5. A, 2, 2, 2 squared is 4. A to the power of 2 and the power of 2 is 4. 2 for half form. Mark plus 4, 8, oh yeah, 4 times 3 is 12a squared plus 9. Now you can multiply every term by 5 to find out the bit. So we will have 20a to the power 4 plus 1 as 60a squared plus 9. All right, so even the harder one, we are able to expand, we should have no problem. Special thanks to Blackwing staying with us, and we will have other pencil from Blackwing next lesson. Thank you. Yes, remember this.